you like to know what we really think of the Klingon Battle Cruiser? Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi and welcome to Geekology, I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight we're going to review the Star Trek, the official Starships collection by Eagle Moss Special 2009 Klingon Battle Cruiser. So Sven, would you like to commence with the magazine and I shall open up the box. Okay, so Klingon Battle Cruiser from Star Trek 2009, special issue. This is a D7 class battle cruiser. Uh... Yeah, more or less. I mean, okay. If we assume this is what a D7 battle cruiser looks like in an alternative if, universe, fair enough. Um, what it's not is a Klingon warbird. No, it's what they call it warbird. in the film. Even though there was cut scenes where it was called a Klingon battle cruiser with it with them surrounding the Narana. Yeah, but cut scenes don't count because otherwise the film had a plot. And Nemesis would have been ten times better. Oh, Nemesis would have been. Yeah. yeah. Operational 2258, it's in the Kelvin timeline, and he's also referred to as a Klingon Warbird. Okay. okay. We also get to mention the fact that it has a cloaking device. So they must have stolen that from the Romulans earlier. Um, and photon torpedoes. It is, quite frankly, a blindingly obvious mix-up of the D7 Battlecruiser and the Katinga Battlecruiser, but with a paint job from the Watcher. I would argue. Uh, uh, the magazine might give you that, the model wouldn't. <clears throat> Never mind, Kevin. It's metallic, though. Right? It's very metallic. There we go, there's some, I mean, look at that. That's that's the Katinga, that's this new version. Yep. That's quite cool. Yeah. They have, there's so many callbacks. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I'll give that. Um, there's some work done on it. It's got earlier D5 type rear end to the in that in that design that they went back to more D seven type on the actual model, didn't they? Mm -hmm. um, I mean that's the, keep doing this to actually keep comparing okay. it. Like, the the concept the in the magazine, yeah, I'm to I'm totally on board with this. Okay. I'm feeling slightly different with what I'm holding in my hand. I don't see Can, why. Fi finish doing the magazine and we'll, 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 we'll look at we'll, we'll, we'll some we'll of these shots. Glorious. Yes, they are. And then the evolution of the battle cruiser. There's there's the Katinga from the motion picture. More Katinga. Maybe the Negva, the the um, Vorcher, and the various variations that are in uh, Enterprise. Right. Right. So um, I will present it to you. Understand? And do you look at it, and then, then we can we can discuss it in an intelligent fashion. Okay, right. There are paint applications missing which are blindingly, gloriously sticking out like a sore thumb. Yep. Um, could they not have bought some red paint this week? Yep, they also couldn't afford clear plastic or green plastic for the nasals. Ooh, that's a shame. This yep. is a special. Yep. Okay, we've got... A little bit of clear plastic at the back for our impulse engines. Oh, uh, there's two little yellow bits yeah. instead of being red. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so they're off. Okay, I'll accept that they're off, but they're ugly. Yeah, we'll give you that. Those should be red. Right, we should have a bit of red paint there, I would argue. Yep. There should be a bit of red paint or something going on with that torpedo tube because that's irritating. Yep. The fact that it's, it's, it's not even whole. No, it's, why is that not a hole? It's, it's, it's just it should, metal ring. It needs to be drilled in and a bit of red um, translucent plastic put in it. That would have made it so much better. Oh, uh, you know what? I'd be happy if there was just a hole and a black dot at the end. Yeah, okay. And then the the rear torpedo right. tube. Right. This is again. the artwork. This is the artwork that we have Same to go thing. from. Yeah. For for this model, okay? Because we can't go from that, which is a shame. Why? All right, we'll go. I'll tell you what. We'll go for a mix for the two, okay. shall we? You, you tell me what's bugging you, and I'll tell you what's bugging the me. Torpedo tube. Mhm. Mm uh, that's pretty much it from the front. Um, from there, uh, not a great deal, except for the the lack of of translucent plastic inserts in the cells. Okay. 
Um, from the rear, it's the torpedo tube and the fact that the impulse engine should be red. Okay. Um, other than that, I've not got an awful lot to say. All right. <clears throat> From, Join lines are kind of in a place I'd expect them. From my perspective, right. this is a really shiny metallic. Yeah. Yeah, no. Why? Because it shouldn't be shiny metallic. It should be white. It looks like they're on green. I'm not convinced of that from what it looked like on the, on the screen. Okay, that's fair enough. I just, yeah. I think it's too bright. Okay. And I think the shiny metallic is knocking it off. I like the design. That's fair enough. Because there is two, I mean, there's two tone. There's three. Yeah. There's three tones of green going on there, and just none of them for me are right. Okay. This join line across here is, no. I mean, I can get my fingernail in that. Oh, that's not good. That's, that's, look, my fingernail slots in all the yeah, way. Yeah, that's So, that's... no. So, I'll start from the front and work my way back. As you picked up, the torpedo tube. Total fail. That's that's an epic. That, epic that's fail. that's that's almost well. It is unforgivable. Okay. It's like an iconic part of that ship. Now I appreciate that the windows on here are minute, hmm. but picking out great big sections in a lighter green <laughs> is not the way to do that. And also, this quite clearly shows you two runs. Yeah. With an extended piece out, where. That is not here. What they've done is no. just put an extension out, and it's, so that it just doesn't work. No light piece there. Same for there. Yeah. Okay. Same for the neck. They've just put a, a mustardy yellow thing instead of a light. So you could argue that maybe that's what they've gone for. Instead of having raised bars there and then a light effect, they've gone with just putting a couple of pieces in and then mm. painting it yellow instead of actually having extension pieces down I'm presuming that must have been trickier for moulding but mm. from my perspective it looks sloppy here you can quite clearly see 45 degree angle from the neck down yeah. here you can quite clearly see flat bumps yeah. then we'll move on to these weapon ports here mm. no light no grill no anything, just it's it's smooth. A bit of, bit yeah. of yellow paint might be helpful. Yeah, they could have splattered some of the yellow paint they used there into that section. Okay, the, the wings on here quite clearly show three different colours. They've done yeah. that in a different tone. Lighting under here. Nope. I would also argue there and there. Mm -hmm. No and no. Now, if you look under the wing... There is a weapon port shown there. Yeah. I don't remember it being shown on the topographical view, but it is shown here. Mm. No, uh, unless I'm very much mistaken. Well, that's, that's a concept shot, so okay. we'll all that one. Shift, shift through to. I think they're all concept after that. I think we need to stick with just the front one. Oh, see, there yeah, you go. Perfect. Uh, weapon, weapon, no, no weapon, way. no weapon. Right, um, I've mentioned about all the detail yeah. they're missing there, they're missing all the detail there. Now I must say, I am doing 90% of the ripping this apart from the magazine because I barely remember the scene in the film. Just, yeah. He was eating an apple, quick. was that hell? It, no, but what I'm saying is it was very, very quick, so yeah. unless you went... I really like the Klingons, I want to see every part of the ship, it's not necessarily yeah. going to stick with it. So I'm hoisting them on their own batard. Yeah. Okay, right, we'll get to the nacelles. No gridding, no translucent plastic, barely a colour change, mm. inside and out. And then they're missing details like the baffling just there. Yeah. Yeah, no. So they've missed a load of detail out on the nacelles. They're missing weapons that they quite clearly show here. Yeah. They're missing paint applications. I really wish we had a decent view of the underside. They've only given us this one here. But it no, I'm so underwhelmed with this model. Love the art. The magazine is beautiful. The artwork look at is the back of it. But this is not... The after view really isn't helping it either. It's just... Oh, no. Oh, I'll tell you what. 
If you're gonna, <clears throat> so I'm not being funny, not being funny. I'm not gonna pick up little tiny windows. I'm not gonna pick up great big weapons that are missing. I'm not gonna pick up the nice house. Let's look at the bridge. Bridge. Oh look, I've got a dome. Yeah. This is a special. Hmm. Yes, there is weight here. I don't buy my models on how much they weigh. I buy them on how pretty they are. And, uh, uh, it's I'm, too much wrong, too much missing. I'm so, I just, To be brutally honest, I wasn't that excited when I heard there was going to be another movie one. And then I was like, no, you know what? We... we they edited most of the footage out from, from the film. It's nice that this will live on and it, it's been... Oh, actually, you know what, Sven? I... I finally just realised. Uh, okay. Um, see these little blob nodules yeah. there? They're actually meant to be sticky out guns. Yeah. I would forgive them for lying them down because that would probably be quite hard yeah. to do. It's... Uh, I don't... No. I'm... Um, I mean, from my point of view, there's considering the Katinga class is so etched into our memories, yeah. and all of the the detail that made it from the Katinga to this mm. is going to stick out. Um, the lack of the lack of the sort of cross grid on the bridge is annoying. Um, I don't have a huge problem with the paint scheme. I don't have a problem with the colour. Okay. Um, so we differ there. We're going to have to differ on that one. The iconic, and I do mean iconic, torpedo tube yeah. at the front and the back are utterly unforgivable. Yeah. Um, that's just not on. You're right about that join line. That's, that, that's just... It's, it's almost as if it's saying, please open me up. Um, the, that's good. Maybe I'm putting the proper colour for the, yeah. the engines. The, the, yeah, the impulse drives, the impulse outlets are yellow and should be red. Um, and the fact that there's no inlay, uh, no translucent plastic inlay in, in, the, in the cell is, is, is terrible and there's so much There's not even gridding, there's not even no. gridding. Considering this, if, if done well, if it done better than this and with all the detail that's missing back on it. I don't understand how it's missing weapons. No, quite. It's missing um, two weapon arrays. I mean, the Katinga class is mm. iconic. Oh, because yeah. Because the D7 was iconic. The D7, I tell you what. Don't mess this up. If you released a D7 that was just the shape and no, no detailing whatsoever, just the shape and everything was smooth. Mm. You would still have, even me, I'd go. Yeah, because it's an icon. This is not an iconic ship mm. because the film was heavily edited. Yeah. It is something for the Klingon fans. Fair enough. And I was quite, you know, because I can't, I didn't have the second release movie Enterprise because I just I didn't want it in my collection I didn't even I just no. couldn't no 
But when I saw this was, I was like, yeah, you know what? We'll see what it is. It's, it's a disappointment. I am massively, massively disappointed. And if I had seen this before purchasing it, guess what? I would not have done. Bought it. Yeah, this would not be in my collection. It is too poorly done. Mm. It is getting a very, very generous three. And the only, the only reason I'm giving it, a, being that generous, is because I would have liked to have seen this. Actually, so as a concept piece, because I don't think anybody else is going to do a 2009 Klingon Battle Cruiser, you've got to give kudos to Eagle Moss for doing it. But not doing it this badly. No. This, I'm no. going to give it a four. Um, because, if nothing else, screwing up the torpedo tubes kind of ruins the look we, of the vessel. Out of all the things you could pick up, that was the bit that... No, to yeah, be fair, that is a big bit. It's no, a big bit, yeah. because that's what you see in the movie. In not even just this movie. It's whenever you see this design of shit. Whenever you think like, about it, Whoa. whenever you think about it, that's the thing yeah, you use. You see the photon torpedo tubes starting to light up and going, I'm going to blast. Uh, it, it's a massive shame. Really is, especially being this is so much better than the the, 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 the um than the D seven we saw in Discovery. When you consider that's how you remake the D seven. Yeah, but when you well, consider sorry, that's the price difference between a standard and this, mm. no. no, no. I'm yeah. sorry, but this is it's it's not acceptable. It really isn't, and um, yeah, um, I will. You know, I I appreciate that there are going to be people out there that, that disagree, and I will enjoy reading your comments, of which I am sure there will be numerous. But I I will ask you to really look at the model and, and see if you genuinely thought mm. that we should have scored it higher, because to be honest. Uh, I, I do think I was being generous. The thing is, from a distance, it looks all right. It's just that as you get closer, you're like, why, 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 why? If, if this hadn't got that, I'd have pulled it apart from the nacelles, mm. and I'd have pulled it apart from the torpedo, and I'd have pulled it apart from the bridge and that join line. So still a good 50% of the things that I'd are wrong yeah. with this you'd have known I'd have known no, that just, just helped me go well hang on there are weapons missing there's details missing here why is this flat yeah. and a little line instead of a 45 degree I mean how, how do you screw that up seriously when when you I, I I get really frustrated with Eagle Moss because on the one hand yeah. I think we get excellent value for money mm. with the standard editions that's not. I do not feel we get good value for money on all of the specials. Some of them are DS9. DS9 was awesome. Refit NX01. Don't screw up the space dock. Yeah, don't screw up the space dock. Because we need the space dock. <laughs> See, I just. I, I, and we've yet to review a jumbo because. Well, we've seen the photos of the jumbos, and neither one of us actually want to fork out money to do a no. review. The A is a complete disaster. Yeah, utter disaster. He's got the wrong bleeding. How how would they step up in size and screwed up? Do they? I just I don't understand it. So, um, images have been released of the B, I believe. I no. I'm trying not XLB. to. XLB. No, not in a million years. Hate that ship. Um. But no. No. Do not screw up space dock. It's bad enough the one after this is going to be the Kobayashi Maru, and I'm betting that screwed up as well. Oh, okay. I've I've got to I've got to make a minor confession here. The the Kobayashi Maru is next. Yeah. In the special range. Yeah. Okay. I I have to ask you a question here. And it's um, 2009 Kobayashi Maru from the sequence this was in. Shields at sixty percent. The Cobra Russian is the next special. Yeah. Oh god, I can't remember what the thing looked like. 
There's a shot in there. Was there? Yeah, because you see the, the, the war birds surrounding it as the Enterprise tries to rescue it. That's exactly how I remember seeing it at the cinema. It was a blurry blob. <laughs> um, so the blurry blob is the, the next, next range of yeah. special. Next special, yeah. And then it's space dock after that. How, how many requests Hopefully. did they have for the Cobra Rashi Maru to be a special? I don't think it's a request situation. I think it's a paramount having you know, like a, making a license requirement or some kind of a thing. You going. know what? I, I am not. I, yeah, I've got to watch the film again to. to yeah. Okay, I will watch the film again. I will stop clicking through. Don't like to lose it. Um, um, well, yeah. Can't believe it. No way to run it. Yeah. Well, you know what? Th those are our comments. We will genuinely, open-mindedly, happily read yours. So please leave them. Um, feel feel free because it if if you, yeah. But at the end of the day, you cannot on on any Klingon battle cruiser. You cannot screw up the torpedo tube at the front because that is the most iconic part of it. It's just like it doesn't because from 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 this angle. Without it, it doesn't look like a Klingon battle cruiser. It looks like something that's gone wrong. And that is indeed what it is. It's something that's Actually, gone wrong. that I agree is unforgivable. But the nice house. How do you? Do, oh. You know what? We're just going to get stuck in the loop yeah. of, of doing this. So, thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And there will be some god awful high resolution pictures on. Flicker. Flicker, yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. All right, then. thank you for watching and good night. Bye. <laughs> what happens when you take a Gatinga class, a D7, and some green paint? Do you want to watch the arse drop out of my world live on screen? Stay tuned. I don't know why I said that at all. That was, just, that was not funny. That was so not funny. Okay, so three, two, one. No, that's not funny either. Oh! You know what? That is excellent. <clears throat> All good? Yeah. You're really desperate to make sure I don't get any pints out of you, aren't you? I don't know what? Pints. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no sexual thing. I'm suddenly... Oh, I don't want pints. <laughs> milky, milky. <laughs> Lovely. Milky, milky. <clears throat> I had a bath in milk once. I was in it for five days. Then I couldn't get out. I was stuck in a hundred weight of cheddar. They did like five jokes that entire season. It's the only one I remember. You, you, you see that dog food? That dog food right there? That's your favourite meal. That's your idea of Sunday night. Okay, he remembers more than one joke. <clears throat> so, let me get this right. We're two sad gits in our 40s. Who reminisce about a TV show that's 50 years old, bitch about companies that can't get things right, and yet you're quoting a comedy sketch show that only aired in England in the early 90s. Yes. Okay, good. I just wanted to check what speed. Hi, and welcome to Geekology. This is a lot like your leg, it keeps breaking. <laughs> breaking news? Here's a leg. <clears throat> Should we have a go at this one now? Yes. Alright, let's hope the camera fucking agrees to be part of the team. Three, two. Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm doing This is the best model I've ever seen. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Stay tuned and don't forget to hit that bell. No, I didn't do the subscribe. Three, two. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Subscribe and hit that bell.
I'm disappointed, and Sven showing me why. No. Three. How about so we do the thing on that? Okay. <clears throat> Way to rip apart a Klingon battlecruiser? Stay tuned. Now they won't need to watch any of it. Yeah, that's that should. That's not good. <laughs> Three, two, one. What do I really think of the Klingon battlecruiser? Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Or maybe even what we think of it. Yeah, I was about to say, shall I have another one of those that doesn't let me say I'm going prick? Three. Good luck with that. We haven't got that much footage. We haven't got that much footage. Yeah, that was good. Especially with me going.